LG the Intel Core i9-4900K S 6.2 GHz CPU has been pictured. Cooler master to launch excellent 1100W fanless power supply with 12V HPWR connector. Valve Steam will no longer support Windows 7, 8 and 8.1. And lastly, Sapphire launches their Radeon RX 6750 GRE 12GB Black Diamond Edition. Firstly, we have from HXL. He has reported that I don't know if it's fake or not, and I don't know if it will be in launch. So, basically, it's, uh, as you can tell here, it's an Intel Core i9 4900KS. Well, the K has, hasn't been released yet. And you know what? It's not really worth it, because already 4th generation look is looking like a terrible deal. It regardless because from third generation to 40 generation the uplift isn't even there so getting another 4900k as the top of the line can overclock like crazy and what it seems like is going to be overclocking up to 6.2 well out of the box and then when you overclock it it can go you know beyond that obviously but is it really worth it like 6.1 6.2 or even 6 gigahertz uh i don't know because even 3900ks can do that you can overclock that and maybe you can reach 6.2. Who knows? But still, I don't think Core i9 4900KS makes sense. Well, obviously, they're going to bring in because, you know, it's 40 generation. But, you know, in general, it doesn't really make sense to buy such high-end product that doesn't even have that uplift compared to the previous gen. Next up, we have something interesting here. Fanless Tech has made this power supply here, as you can tell. This is a very interesting power supply, as you're looking at, from Cooler Master. They're designed... Uh, well, the Cooler Monster is the manufacturer of the product, and the fanless, design, fanless Tech, I should say, has designed it. Well, basically, as you can tell, it's a no-fan power supply from Cooler Monster or Fanless Tech. I guess they're, you know, doing a collab, but either, either way, like, Cooler Monster is making this power supply, which is their component, without a fan. So, maybe it's passive build, which is, obviously it is. But the question is, is it really going to be helpful in terms of cooling uh, the power supply? Because it's of 1100 watts. That's right. If this power supply you're looking at is 1100 watts. So it's going to be taking, you know, a lot of heat output. So, or giving a lot of heat output. But anyways, it does look cool. The mesh design. Well, do we really need mesh? I guess for the passive airflow. Or, you know, the casing airflow would do the trick. But I guess this... It's cool looking. It's, it's a cool looking power supply. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it has like honeycomb design in the back right over here. And then the uh, the cube, I think. Yes, it is a cube. Interesting. So, yeah, the design is looking good. It says X silent over here. And the whole power supply. You know, the whole the capacitors are here. So, anyway, like, it's, it looks interesting. And I don't know if it's gonna be helpful, the passive cooling. Because it's an 1100 watts power supply so interesting and next up we have some bad news for the windows 7 8 and 8.1 users basically as you can tell it says windows 7 and windows 8 support oh boy what does it say well as they're saying right over here as of january 1 2024 steam will officially stop supporting the windows 7 windows 8 and windows 8.1 operating systems after that date existing steam client Installations on these operating systems will no longer receive updates of any kind, including security updates, which is very important, by the way. Steam support will be unable to offer users technical support for issues related to the old operating systems, and Steam will be unable to guarantee continued functionality of Steam on the unsupported operating systems version. So, basically, Windows 7, Windows 8, goodbye, Steam. Exactly. But, they're also saying that you can up upgrade to windows 10 which is duh like that is the case they have to do it windows 10 or windows 11 that you have to switch on and well after january 1st 2024 basically it's already january 2nd and as i'm making the video so it's funny already you, d you won't get any support now so yeah it's gone the support is already gone sorry for the late uh announcement but either way i if you have windows 7 and windows 8 already you should have received it but still, if you haven't checked, well, you should, because you're not going to be getting any kind of updates in your games or even in Steam. So be careful on that. And the reason they're doing that is because it says right over here, this change is recorded as core features in Steam rely on embedded version of Google Chrome, which no longer functions on older versions of Windows. In addition, future versions of Steam will require Windows feature and security updates only present in Windows 10 and above. So basically, they just said it. 
Google Chrome embed embedding doesn't work here anymore, so they have to go for the Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the new features for Steam. Well, if you don't know, the Steam, the newer Steam API looks pretty good, obviously. Like, it, it is much more advanced and it has more features. So, yeah, I kind of understand that, but yeah. Sorry for the Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 users. There will be no Steam support, so no games for Windows 7 and 8 users. Sad, but hey, come on. Windows 10, it's time to upgrade. Yeah. Lastly, we have something from IT Home. They have made this article, and look at here. It says Sapphire launches the RX 6750 GRE Black Diamond. Oh, I like that name already. Display card at a price of 24.99 yuan. And if you look into this pricing here, it's the same as the RTX 4060 8 gigs. Exactly. RTX 4060 8 gigs literally has a similar pricing, which is 24.99 yuan, but you can get a better deal, which is the RX 6750 GRE only in china well that's why it says you won so you should understand that yes it is only a chinese launch the 6750 gre well i think 6750 xt is already worldwide launch and i think that card is better but when we consider the pricing the 2499 you won for the 6750 gre is a very good deal because we'll come to that lately but let's look into the card first it says black diamond and i can see the aesthetic it's completely black it would really good for go for the black build so i really like it the back plate is well similar to other cards but you know the accent is like the black diamond because you know the diamond shapes you know anyway but the one thing i want to talk about is this thing is the performance well if you look into these games here well i don't understand these games it's cod I think that's Call of Duty Warzone, and this is a Cyberpunk 2077. The rest, I don't understand, but that's not important because they're comparing the RTX 4060 8 gigs compared to the RX 6750 GRE, and, and it also comes with 12 gigs of VRAM, so even better, right? And in 1440p, we're getting this kind of chart where the blue one is obviously the RX 6750 GRE, and in all of these results, it's leading pretty well. Like in this one, 75 versus 6 79 versus 60 and this one is like it's closing the rtx 4060 106 but still winning 116 you know 10 fps deficit so it's still winning and in this case 84 80 80 58 656 and the rest are not even close so 6750 gre comes with the same price as the rtx 4060 but also wins in terms of this chart here well this is a you could say it's a review in 4040p and it's winning. It's really winning here. So I feel like it's a good deal. And if you're in China, you can get this car pretty easily for 24.99 yuan. So that's a pretty damn good pricing. RTX 4060, you don't even need it because 6750 GRE looking pretty good, like solid build. And yeah, it looks a good. It's, it's a good looking car, honestly. So hmm, not a bad launch from AMD here, but the pricing does make it even more appealing. So yeah, good luck those who want to get it. Yeah, this is it for today. What do you think about the cards, of course, and the, well, the GRE looking pretty good. And Steam will no longer be available. That's kind of sad in Windows 8 and Windows 7, also Windows 8.1. Why does it differentiate 8 and 8.1? I don't really know. But anyway, it's not really important. But now what is important is that you have to upgrade to Windows 10 or Windows 11, whatever you wish, whatever your system implies. So we'll see about that. But at the end of the day, it had to happen, right? So, see ya.